Hi guys! I'm excited to share with you my vlog from our month-long trip to Tenerife. In this vlog, you see us hiking through the beautiful mountains, free diving to a shipwreck, and even going to the top of a volcano. But that's not all. We also took the time to explore the island and experience everything it has to offer. From visiting the beautiful beaches around the island to trying traditional Canarian cuisine, we made the most of our time on the island. So join us as we take you on a journey through Tenerife. We flew from Bordeaux, France to Tenerife and we spent a month there exploring the island. We made it to Tenerife. We are staying in the south of the island and we're staying in a hostel. We have our private room and bathroom, which is really good. And the best part of this place is they have a communal area with a nice swimming pool. We're renting a car for a week while we're here and it's very convenient to have so that we can tour the whole island. I got truffles from the supermarket and the weather here is warm and now it's melted and it's now a one big truffle. <laughs> On our first day on the island, we decided to go for a hike. On our way towards the hiking trail, it was cloudy, but as we were going up the mountains, the sky was clear. We're about to start the hike. And let's find out why this trail is called the Lunar Landscape. Two minutes into the hike and we're already ascending. I don't know why, but I was really struggling with this hike. Maybe because of the ascent. You can say we're three minutes into the hike. We're five, min <laughs> We're five minutes into the hike and it's ascending and uh, I'm catching my breath. We really enjoyed walking on the path along the pine trees. No cycling, no motorbike, no horse riding. This is why it's called the lunar landscape. This was formed from the volcano eruption. We started to see the clouds beneath us. It was such an experience feeling like we were walking about the clouds. And we were admiring the volcanic landscapes. And it felt like walking on the moon and behind me were the clouds. We stopped here for lunch on the shady bit and to soak in this view. This is the furthest we could walk on this hike because we're running out of time and we're at 2,300 meters so it's quite high <laughs> and now we have to turn back and yeah we enjoy the hike going up here it's just ascending and yeah this is our first hike in Tenerife
After the hike, we went up to the other side of the island and went to Playa del Castillo. We got sunburned from the hike. I'm burnt. We're going to a local restaurant and we're about to have some Spanish food. And it's called Guachinche. We had fish and potatoes and then we drove back to the hostel. The following day... <laughs> Which is more red? Your face is more red. <laughs> oh, careful. So is this your play? Yeah. We got some nice treats and one of the volunteers. So nice. Oh, you look orange. Maybe you should change your t-shirt. <laughs> We checked out from the hostel and we moved to Tabaiba for a free diving course. We need to get away from the sun and here we are we're doing the opposite thing <laughs> we're walking along the seaside and there's no shade this was the spot for the free diving We're going to the supermarket to get some groceries because now we have a kitchen and we can cook. I made this. I cooked the chicken and couscous and made some salad. I made all of this in our kitchen here, kid kitchen. We also checked out the beaches located on the south of the island. A lot of tourists tend to stay here in these areas to soak in the sun and enjoy the beach. We are about to have a unique experience. We're gonna go get a cable car from the base of Mount El Taida and then from there we will get to the top of the volcano. So we'll be on the peak and then we're gonna see the sunset and we'll be able to see the 360 degree view of the island. The drive to the cable car area was very scenic. We took the cable car to go up to the summit of the volcano. This was the highest point in Spain and the highest point above sea level in the islands of the Atlantic. We had a tour guide leading the tour and it was super cold and windy up there. Our visit in the island wouldn't be complete without visiting the summit. We watched this beautiful sunset and we headed down for stargazing.
There's so much outdoor activities to do around the island and lots of hiking. So why don't we do another hike? This trail is called Benijo to El Draghillo and we are hiking along the mountainside with the view of the sea. It's so beautiful here. This is where we're having lunch. The lizards here are coming out. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, we can't eat here. <laughs> one, two. Where's the other one? I saw five so far. There's one there as well. Oh, there's another one, babe. Look, it's gonna go in the bags. Close them. Okay, that's that's for. <laughs> we move to another spot. Hopefully, no lizards here that will attack us. <laughs> I think we can stay. I think if we stay long enough, they'll get us. They're coming again, the lizards took them. I think they want our food. Where are they? We love to hike because we love the nature and kind of having this feeling of freedom. We're so glad it's cloudy today because when we did our first hike, we got sunburned really bad because we didn't put any sunscreen. So we have to take care of our skin this time and we're putting a lot of sunscreen. It's like an accommodation, Airbnb. <laughs> Airbnb with this view. <laughs> This is Anaga Rural Park in the northeastern part of the island. This protected park is covered with laurel trees.
What's interesting about Tenerife is the microclimates. It's hot and sunny in the south of the island, but in the north, it's raining and it's cold. We're in Masca in the west of the island and we're gonna tr try and do a bit of a hike but first let's get some food. We had a mojito and these guachincha dishes were super delicious. We're gonna do a hike for an hour and a half after having a glass of mojito. Should be fine. <laughs> it was drizzling when we started and hardly anyone else there doing the hike. We found our cave in Spain. That's where we're gonna live. Free mortgage. <laughs> we're gonna become gypsies. Some parts of the trail were on the edge and it was a bit scary, but that was part of the thrill. And we just had to be careful. This hike was definitely worth doing. The main reason for our trip to Tenerife was to free dive. I tried the beginner free diving two day course. Unfortunately, I ruptured my eardrum during my first dive and couldn't finish the course. Here's a video of a group of free divers.
Overall, our trip to the island was a great experience, despite my eardrum rupture. There was no shortage of things to do, from free diving to hiking and more. We were able to make the most of our time there and create some lasting memories. I would definitely recommend visiting the island and trying out some of the activities it has to offer. Thanks for following along on our adventure and don't forget to give this vlog a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.